よよよよよおいおいおい上に上がりゃ関係ねえ What's up? It's Frank Paul Last weeks I did some pretty long videos about producing and mixing This week it will be a quick one Checking your mix in other sound systems is insanely useful because when you're sitting in a studio you subconsciously get used to the sound of it and you might not spot problems in your mix. So having a multiple setup of system like I have, it's very useful, but also going outside your studio and listening to stuff outside your studio, it's useful as well. With that being said, having a tool that allows you to quickly switch the balance of your mix might be useful. That's why there are plugins that allows you to emulate different kind of speakers. I'm not saying that they are the key to get their mix right, but they are useful. And that's why in this video I want to show you something I did on Patchery. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the Inspector. Yeah, good name, right? Uh, the Inspector is a very simple plugin, as you can see, very basic utility functions and but also as these buttons here that allows you to switch the balance of your mix before diving into it i have to give some credit to mix checker mix checker is this plugin which has some utility and some eq curves that simulate multiple systems i'm sorry to the guys that made this mix checker but i don't love this plugin I think that this plugin has a lot of potential, but the execution was a little bit... Uh, the This EQ, for example, it doesn't sound like a car, it sounds like a flanger. With that being said, this sounds pretty cool. That's why I made my version of it. So let's just see what this patch that I did can do. On the left of the plugin, we have some utility buttons, and on the right we have the simulations, let's call it that way. So the first one, it's mono, and allows you to listen to your mix in mono. So baby, if you're down for the ride, let's get lost, lost in Amsterdam. Next one, we have side, and this button just mute the mid signal, so you just listen to the side. So baby, let's get lost, lost in Next one, invert. If you play something and you just invert the phase, the frequency response of your speakers will be the exact same, but just inverted. But you might get a different frequency response according to your room. And it sounds like this. So baby, if you're down for the ride, let's get lost, lost in The next one, it's swap, and it's just swapping the channels. So baby, if you're down for the ride, the next one it's L solo and it's rooting the left channel also to the right. So baby if you're down for the ride, let's get lost, lost in I really recommend you to check both channels individually. That's why there is also a air solo here. So baby if you're down for the ride, let's get lost, lost in so the last button it's bypass and it's bypassing all the thing that this inspector is doing it's useful if you mess around with these knobs a little bit and you want to have an ib comparison so these knobs balance is just a pen so baby if you're down for the ride let's get lost. not insanely useful i would say but it's always good to have it and with this one is very useful because Sometimes when I mix stuff, I wonder, is it too wide? Is it too narrow? And having these knobs that allows you to merge a little bit the channels or separate them, it's a quick answer to that question. So let's hear it. Let's get lost, lost in Amsterdam. Where it's you and me together, making making friends. Let's get lost, lost in Amsterdam. Next one, we have this volume slider, which is just controlling the volume. And it's there because when you try these ones, since there are mostly EQs, you'll introduce some peaks. 
that's inevitable. That's why there is this save overload button that is on by default, which is a very fast limiter. It's not clipping, but it's almost clipping. So let's start uh, checking this different uh, preset that I did. Yamaha NS10, the most famous speaker that you see in all those studios. Honestly, it sounds pretty bad, but that's the purpose of it. It's very similar to the mix checker, and it sounds like this. <laughs> Next one we have Avantone, the Mix Cube. It's super similar to the Mix Cube. Let's take a listen. Next one we have iLoud Micro. And iLoud Micro are these speakers, which I use every day, and they are awesome. It was quite the challenge to get the EQ right, also because the stereo feel is different. So for having the exact same EQ, I had to play a little bit with the width and also was bypassing this plugin at the same time as switching the speakers. I gotta admit, it was fun. Let's listen to it. Next one, we have the car test. So for these particular settings, I did some tests with my car, my mom's car, my dad's car, and my sister's car. And I did some recordings and I saw the frequency response of the same song at the same level. Let's take a listen. A little bit boxy and there's something going on in the stereo field. Because when you are inside a car, you're not in the center, usually. You are on the left or on the right. So you're physically closer to one speaker than the other. So I introduced some millisecond latency between the channels. So it gives you that feeling of sitting on the left. Next one, we have Hi-Fi Stereo. With these settings, I emulated um, stereo that my dad has. It's a very old stereo, but it still sounds pretty good. It sounds like this. Next one, we have my favorite, oh my god, Outside the Club. So I don't know if you know it, but FL Studio, since the version at least 9, I believe, there's this old preset in the mixer called Outside the Club, which is a vocoder, a stereo announcer, and a multiband compressor, and emulates the feeling of being outside a club and listening to the stuff that is playing inside the club. A long time ago, I modified this preset. The image line preset was good. These settings here, in my opinion, it's awesome. Thank you, image line. I check my mixes into these particular settings all the time. Let's check it out. <laughs> Next one, we have smartphone that, of course, emulate a common smartphone uh, playback. The last one is earphones, which are in ear headphones. Let's take a listen. So, I was skeptical about this kind of plugin that emulates stuff. My advice is enable one of them, listen to the whole thing, take a break, five minutes, go back in the studio, enable another one, full listen, full listen, full listen, and that's it. That's how it works for me, at least. That's it. We covered the inspector. Yeah, super cool name, right? So if you are on FL, you can grab this one for free. There's a link in the description. Download this patch and have fun with it. And Expect more video like this in the future because this one it's the most basic patch I did. As you can see, I'm doing more patches for the future. So this time was like a utility patch. The next one will be actual effects. So saturation, distortion, all very good stuff. So if you wanna see that, click the subscribe button. I will never thought I would say this, but if you enjoy the content, leave a like here. It's free, it's not time consuming, you just 
click it and that's it basically the jokes apart it will make me happy to know if you enjoy the content so if you leave a like thank you very much i appreciate it have fun with this patch i did more on the way so stay tuned take care bye